to Louis HD today you'll be seeing my face how I was and today I'm doing the Premier League predictions alright um this is just a rough idea of what I think um I'll probably do another one near the end of the season like because but I know a few definites in here already so 20th I feel Burnley like Burnley they're gonna go down they've got a good home form and I'll probably get far in the FA Cup but they just can't win away as far as I know so I think they're going to be in 20th um, yeah, they could be using some strikers I think um, and Shaw Dyche, I just don't think he's a good manager he, just a horrible manager right, 19th is Crystal Palace Sam Allardyce, team, Sam Allardyce tends to keep teams up but I feel he's not going to be able to keep Palace up they've not had a good season at all losing 4-0 against Sunderland like Really? Sunderland? Yeah. And 18th, I feel it's going to be Sunderland. So they'll be getting relegated. Um, because then just a the one man, they think that, like, because they want to get sworn they'll go to Crystal Palace, they're going to stay up. But I don't think they will. They're a one man team. And if the foe leaves or gets injured, their season's absolutely bollocked. So that means I, I feel like Sunderland are going to be 18th, not. And, but they've been lucky last few season. Like last season, Newcastle went down by by like a couple of points. They lost by like Newcastle is so unlucky. Sunderland should have gone down eight, ages ago. Um, 17th, I think, just a foiling the job is Middlesbrough. They've had a good season, but they're, they're not mid table yet. They'll stay up. Um, West Brom is I predict this 16th. I think they've lost Saudi Bravo, not Saudi. Saudi Barahino, let me just Oh god, no fuck you'll be you'll see my keyboard now. Saudi Barahino. Let's see where he is. I'm sure he's a Stoke player, isn't he? Yeah, Stoke. So I think where they've lost him, um, they're not gonna be able to get their season back on track. So yeah, I think he'll There. Um, yeah. And next up, I think it's going to be Hull. They've since this new manager coming in, they've been decent. They won two 0 against Liverpool. It's hard as a Liverpool fan, but Liverpool are just outplayed sort of as by them. Um, they're a decent side. They've been unlucky, but they've got a good manager now, so let's hope they get it. Um, 14th, I predict the Swansea. Same reason they've got a good manager and they're starting to play. They also beat Liverpool, um, which is good well, for them, obviously. But 13th, I predict they have predicted West Ham because um, they've lost Payet. They were doing absolutely terrible with him and the team, and they've won games like a couple games from the bounce now and Andy Carroll's been banging in those goals so and they won three one against Southampton last Saturday. So I think they're gonna win. They're gonna stay up for in thirteenth. Leicester City, I think they're gonna revive their season a little bit because I think they're like sixteenth no, they're like seventeenth at the moment. But it'll move around and Leicester will hopefully score some goals and I'll see if they move up. I think they might. Um, 11th I predict it's Stoke City yeah they've got Berahino which is why I put them above breast West Brom I think he's a good striker and they got Wilfred Bonney Stoke and a good side really very youth like good side um, I just feel that they're not good enough to get in the top 8 again like 8 this season um, so yeah 10th I think is Watford they, they've been winning some good games that they should be They've been up for the second season now, so they should be safe. Um, ninth, I predicted AFC Bournemouth. Eddie Howe, great manager. They were unlucky to lose against Everton 6-3, but they were just outclassed that play that day. Um, so, yeah, I think that they're going to come ninth. Eighth, I think Southampton. They've, gone, they've had a bad streak the last couple of games. I had to beat in Liverpool in the cup to go to the final, but I feel that they're gonna. We've had a bad treat, and they're gonna hopefully get it up, start a good streak started again. So now I'm going up to seventh. I predict that's going to be Everton. Can score some great goals. Good team. Um, 
got Lukaku, they lose him, I think. I think they're sort of a two, three man team, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, I feel bad about this one, but Manchester United, I think I'm going to predict them sixth. Because they've, got, they've been winning a lot of games, but I just feel that Liverpool might, like, they might just not get fifth by goal difference, which would be unfortunate. But they're scoring the goals, which is good. They won 3 0 against Leicester City, the former champions, well, the champions at the moment, on Sunday, last Sunday, so, yeah. To fear if I predict Liverpool, but I think they'll, they're not going well. We've been losing to terrible teams, teams in the bottom five, so we shouldn't really be doing that. Um, we scored, got, won some good games, but I think we just need to get our season, like, we need to just think, pass it around, don't try to do skills, and no, just keep to the basics. That's basically what Leicester did, and they won the league. We're not going to say we're going to win the league, but I don't think we're just going to go in the Champions Cup, so I think we're going to be Europa League place. Um, fourth is Manchester City. This Hazas, who's signed in, this just transfer window gone. He's been decent. Three goals, two assists in like three games, I think, which is good. Um, or two games. Then I predict it's going to be Arsenal. They've got a good team. Giroud, Sanchez, Ozil, um, Ramsey, well back. Come back from injury, so yeah. Um, second, I predict it's going to be Tottenham Hotspur. Um, he, they've had a great season. I feel they've got the strength to go up to second. Last season, it was Arsenal second, Tottenham third. It switched around the last day, I think. But Tottenham, I feel, deserve to go second this season. That means first is left, and I think it's going to be Chelsea. Div. Since they swept to this back five with David Luiz, they've been unstoppable, scoring goals, keeping clean sheets, not conceding a lot. So I think that's going to help them win. Antonio Conte has a lot of passion on that touchline, so I feel that Chelsea are going to win the league. So that's coming from a Liverpool fan. Um, comment your predictions down below. And I'll have a look through and probably do a review video on that very soon, but you had to be a quick. Um, so yeah, that's you'll be able to see. I'll show at the end of this video the just full table if you've missed it, okay? So thank you guys. Um, remember to hit that like button down below, make it turn blue, okay? Um, click the subscribe button, I'll put it around here. Wait, no, up there. You'll see it right there, right now. Click on it and go to subscribe. And oh yeah, I'll see you in the next UHD video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next. Probably I'll do another IMO live soon. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, right, um, welcome back to the video. Like, you've seen the previous bit of the video, the transfer, no, no, Premier League predictions. Now I'm just going to be doing a quick shout out for two people. First of all is Archie Teagan, 38 subs, so check that out, that's decent. And the other one is Lawman7878, so go check that out, but if you give me a shout out on your face if I use. Thank you, and go subscribe to them, you'll just type in them, um, in the RGT games. Okay, bye, bye.